Okay, uh, pickle projectile question. I didn't bother to write out the whole question because really all you need is that equation for the height. So this is the equation for the height of the pickle any time. A jar of pickles, oh, so it's not a pickle, it's actually a jar of pickles thrown off a cliff. Anyways, initial height. Okay, initial height is always going to be at the initial time. So when the time is equal to zero, that's when you solve your initial height. So t is equal to zero, I'm gonna sub that thing in there, and well, I'm not even, oh, okay, I guess for the sake of the solution, I'll show my work. So zero goes into there, and zero goes into here, and you should be able to see that both of those go away, so the height's just equal to 200 meters. Okay, next one, height at two seconds. Okay, this is a little bit more Mr. required. Guide, contact down there, please, Mr. Guide. So you plug your twos in for time. And now, if you want, you can solve each of these separately, but I wouldn't suggest it. You probably have a better chance of getting it right if you just fire it all through your calculator right now. So height here is equal to 244. Therefore, initial height is 200 meters and at two seconds height is 224 meters. Okay, A, done. Calculate when the jar will hit the ground. B, so B is the hit ground question. Now, we get this all the time because the hit ground question is your zeros. If you visualize this thing, well, I'll sketch it for you. You chuck these pickles, they go up, they come down, they explode. So they hit the ground there, and that is your zero, as you can tell. So I'm gonna plug in a height of zero because that's what happens when it hits the ground. So zero equals negative four t squared plus 20 t plus 200. Okay, now you've got two options here. You can solve this thing by factoring or solve it by quadratic formula. If it doesn't look like it's gonna factor easy, I always just go for quadratic formula, but this one looks to me like it's gonna turn into a simple because everything can be divided by four. So I'm gonna divide out my four here. So divide by negative four and you get negative five t and then minus 50. Okay, so I take out my negative 4, and now I've got a simple inside, and now I can probably factor that. Let's hope. So t and t, and that's 50, so this must be coming from minus 10 and plus 5. Did I get that right? Yep. Okay, therefore, t equals 10 and negative 5. Now, time of negative 5 doesn't make sense in this case, so I'm just going to cross that out. So it hits the ground when height is equal to zero, when the time is equal to that. Therefore, it hits ground at 10 seconds. Okay, calculate the maximum height of the jar. C, I'm gonna leave room on the side here to do D. So the max height of the jar, max height is at the vertex. Okay, now what do we know about the vertex? I know first of all, that the vertex is going to be at the axis of symmetry. So the t value, when it's going to reach max height, is going to be 10 plus negative 5 divided by 2, which is 2.5. So the max height is going to happen when time is 2.5, because that's the axis of symmetry. So the height is going to be negative 4 times 2.5 squared plus 20 times 2.5 plus 200 and cannot do this in my head. So the maximum height looks like 225 meters. Therefore, max height is 225 meters. Okay, I guess I better get ready to go to class. So, in order to get the max height, once you've solved for your two zeros, when it hits the ground, you add those two together, divide them by two, that gives you our axis symmetry. Plug in the axis symmetry, it gives you your max height. Remember that. Okay, last one is a pain in the butt. I'll go through it as quickly as I can. Um, calculate the length of time the jar is above. So, how long above 216 meters? Okay, so in this case, they give us a height. They're giving us the height equal to 216. So, substitution, every time they give us a value, I plug it in for that value. So 216 is equal to negative four t squared plus 20t plus 200. 
Now, before you can solve, we have to set things equal to zero, so I move the 216 over here, so I minus 216 from that side. So I get negative 4t squared plus 20t minus 16. Hmm. Okay, this looks like it might go as a simple trinomial again, so I'm going to try this again. Factor out the common factor of negative 4. I get negative 5t plus 4. Is that going to go 4 and 1? I think so. Okay, so this is t, this is t, that's minus one and minus four. Those two things add to negative five, multiply to positive four, check. Whew, I'm glad that worked. Now again, if it didn't work, if this doesn't factor, you've gotta go back to here, plug it through the quadratic formula, which takes more time, so I don't wanna do that. Okay, so in this case, the t is equal to one and four. Uh, why do I have two values? Well, because of this. You're Jar of pickles goes up, it comes down, it hits this height both here at one and here at four. So how long was it above? Well, what's the difference between those two things? If it goes up at one and comes down at four, well, four minus one equals three. Therefore, pickles are above four, three seconds. So if you're looking for how long something is above four, remember that you're gonna solve for two times and then subtract them and that gives you how long it's above for.